Good morning, and here are the news headlines. Israel has signed a, comp a comprehensive peace agreement with all its enemies. Israel has won the World Cup. But now for the breaking news. It's Ronnie's Bat Mitzvah! In this program, we'll be looking back at the past 12 years of Ronnie's life, using footage and pictures that have not been seen before. As we travel around the globe from New York, USA, to Netivot and from Netivot and to Beit Shemesh. With the help of hidden cameras, face-to-face -face interviews and thorough research, we'll be getting the answers to important questions about the past 12 years. Let's start at the beginning, the early years. That's a very good place to start. Ronnie was born on the 26th of July 2002 to Joseph and Shulamit, a sister to Susie and Avi. Hi Ronnie, Mazal Tov, number one, I love you, number two, Ronnie, I'm so happy to see you growing every day, and for me, if you're happy, I'm, I'm going to be very happy, but you have to remember thing, one thing, everything in your life you have, and you cannot say to nobody, I'm here for you, because I'm not only your mom, I'm your friend, so really I love you, and I wish you all the best, and I'm going to be here always for you, and for the other. So please, don't, uh, don't be uh, uh, shy or something to take the phone and to tell me something. I love you, Roni. Always. Roni, I am so sorry I cannot be with you for your simcha. But even though I am not with you physically, I am with you in spirit. You are one of the most determined persons I've ever known. When you want something, you get it. I can't think of how I can't think of but how, when we play life, you always are the doctor, the highest paying career. You're going to accomplish a lot of uh, great things in the many years ahead of you. Roni, Mazel Tov! I'm so excited for your party. It's going to be so much fun. And I'm sure you look gorgeous, because you are gorgeous. And I love your little smiling face. And um, Mazel Tov, I said that already. Um, happy birthday, I can't believe you're 12. You're really, really big. You're like a real grown-up now. It's crazy. I remember when you were just born. Do you believe it? <laughs> I don't. It feels like yesterday, but it was a whole 12 years ago. It's really crazy. Um, anyways, I love you, love you, love you, up to the moon and back, and I should give you a bracha that Nimitz Hashem, Hashem, should give you a lot, a lot, a lot of happiness. You're ready, someone who's so happy, and you always want to do the right thing, and Hashem loves that, and you should always continue to ask Him for anything that you need, because He's the one that's going to give it to you, Nimitz Hashem, and keep being the good friend that you are and keep being the sensitive girl that you are towards others and keeping that smiley girl who you just light me up whenever i see you and i love you so much and um mazel tov. as you can see from a young age ronnie has loved cars bicycles and all forms of transportation and this is something that continues until this day. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Ronnie, the fixer is coming to a rescue. Yeah, I wish I call my chain's broken. Uh, you got your phone out? Should I call the era? Star R O N I. <laughs> Ronnie arrived in Israel in the summer of 2012, and at the beginning she went to the south of the country. Or the north. No, no, the south. Our reporters have followed her since the day she arrived and have she has been spied in all kind of interesting places in Matullah, up north and Tiulim, all over the country climbed up trees, mountains Watch this video <laughs> Yeah, 
יש תשובה לחק לי בראש כשראיתי קטן ידעתי מה לדרוש לשחק במטבורים לאכול ים ממתקים ממש כמו בימים Now we turn to our next reporter, the Education Minister, Meira Finn. School has been a new experience for Roni. Despite her initial fears and learning a new language, Roni has, is doing really well and is popular and well liked. Take an example from Mr. Shimon Omer, who agreed to be interviewed for this program. Roni Mazeltov, uh, I'm Shamir in the school. <laughs> Ronnie is learning. Every morning she's a very, very special girl. Every morning she comes to the school and tells me good morning and I tell her good morning. Sometimes we ask each other how are you doing. So she's a very, very pleasant girl and I wish you a lot of luck in the future and uh, a lot of naches uh, to her parents. And now we hear from her teacher, Mora Chagit. רוני מקסימה, אוהבת חיבוקים, אוהבת ליטופים, ילדה של חום, מאוד שמחה לספר מה היא מרגישה, אלופה בלעצב עוגות עם עוגות סוכר, אוהבת לגזור ולהדביק ולצייר, מאוד אוהבים אותה בכיתה. אוהבת לדבר באנגלית ולא בעברית, ואני מאחלת לרוני שתצליח בהמשך החיים ושתהנה עם המשפחה המקסימה שיש לה. ותצליח באולפנה, ויהיו לה המון חברות, ותהיה תמיד שמחה. כל מה שהיא תעשה, יהיה לה טוב. And if you are not yet convinced, we hear now from Miriam, who teaches Roni privately once a week. Hi Roni, Mazal Tov. I'm so excited for your bat mitzvah. Uh, you're such a special person, and I really enjoy learning with you. You're a great girl with a great sense of humor, and you're very cute. And you're an amazing artist, and um, I know you're going to get very far in life. And I really hope you enjoy this day and this whole year. And mazel tov. Finally, we see now how Ronnie is enjoying school. Hello. Hello. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. In literary news, J.K. Rowling, author of the Harry Potter series, has just announced the winner of the most amount of times the series has been read in the shortest amount of time. Before we announce the winner, let's see her in action. And here, live from Hollywood, to present the award is Harry's cousin, Hanu Potter. Greetings, everyone. My name is Hanu Potter, and I'm very delighted to give this award to Roni Levy, who has read the Harry Potter series, the whole entire series, about my cousin, by the way. in the shortest amount of time possible. Yay! Congratulations! We're so happy to give you this award. Really, you deserve it. We went to ask Ronnie's friend Sipora if she thought she knew what the secret was for Ronnie's achievement. This is what she replied. That's simple. All she does in school is read Harry Potter. Today is Ronnie's bat mitzvah celebration. But according to reports that we have received, she has been planning this for quite some time. We spoke to Ruthie Lara the coordinator of the Munabev Bat Mitzvah Preparation Organizational System. Okay, Mazal Tov Rani, um, just wanted to wish you a huge, huge Mazal Tov for your Bat Mitzvah from all the Munabev um, Chevra who just like enjoyed having you on our program so much. Um, we all learned a lot together and we ha enjoyed having you on the program and all the things you did, I know that you had a lot of fun um, from Tom Chay Shabbos when we did all the stuff for um, preparing food for people um, in the community who don't have enough um, food and things for their Shabbat table and also for during the week and we packaged massive, massive amount of boxes and you were part of all that whole line of people 
putting all the food together and we did lots of baking and had a lot of fun making cupcakes for the Chayalim and the Pina Chama and also all the drama that you did had a lot of fun doing the drama I know that because um, uh, all the groups that we did preparing how we're going to go to the, do the Tom Chay Shabbat, all the different scenarios that when we were doing that, Ronnie, I know you had a lot of fun. And um, I think also the discussions that when we did about Bikur Cholim, like how do we go and visit the sick and what kind of situations you can be in. I know the, all those kind of discussions we had, you were there with all your ideas, which I think is just really, really amazing. And you gave a lot to the group. Um, so the one thing I really remember that I was so impressed with you um, was when we went to Alaire, which was the last thing we did on the um, program. And um, I know that you just stood out because um, the Alaire home in Yerushalayim is for children with severe mental and uh, physical disabilities. And it was quite overwhelming. A lot of the girls found it quite hard to talk to the children because it's the first time they'd seen anything so hard and difficult to, to deal with um, but you were amazing you just went up to those girls and boys and introduced yourself and said hi gave you Michelle Achman also nicely and um, just very I remember your high voice like saying hi 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 Ronnie what's your name and that was just amazing to make that cash and to have that gift which is not everybody has and hopefully going forward you'll build on all those wonderful gifts that you have and I hope you've learned tons from the Chesed program and you obviously have it in you to be a most amazing girl like Chesed so mazel tov mazel tov and enjoy your wonderful day and party and um, we miss you and we wish you all the best going forward in fact through her learning for her bat mitzvah preparation Ronnie has become a little bit of a bracha expert. Who would have thought that this is the girl who doesn't like to study? Um, do you want to do the bat now? Right now? Yeah. Sure, I'd love to. Can you remember what you're up to? Um... Most importantly, Ronnie immediately puts into practice that which she learns, thereby fulfilling the saying, put immediately into practice that which you learn. Oh, it's a wash. I might be having two slices. For one slice, you don't wash them, for two slices, you do. That brings us nicely onto Ronnie's diet. What does Ronnie eat? Ronnie loves salad and uh, Ben and Jerry's and onions. I'm just joking. She doesn't like onions. And pizza. Our reporters tell me that Ronnie's pizza eating habits are very, very special and have even spotted her in very, very interesting pizza eating habits. <laughs> שלום, מאז שרוני הגיעה לשכונה, לרמת בית שמש א', התחילה לקנות בג'יי טן, המכירות קפצו לשמיים. מלא פיצות העפנו ומלא פיצות מכרנו, בזכות רוני. Ronnie loves art and somehow the works are on display at the Maor Exhibition Center. We had the chance of discussing her art skills with her art teacher, Esther. Ronnie is great fun. She a great time coming to hug. Um, she works very, very well. She has fantastic ideas. She is um, very pedantic that everything is done beautifully and she's only ever satisfied when it is done to the best of her ability and she is very, very, very able and I love having her in the hug. Oh. Ronnie's art lesson is at six o'clock on Monday evening, although questions like what time is it, what time is it, 
or what time is it, can be heard about every five minutes since three o'clock in the afternoon. To rectify the situation, we have made some interesting changes in her room. On Shabbos, Rani's favourite thing to do is to bring all the bottles to the table in one go and then take them off all in one go. Because it's on Shabbos, we can't show you a video, but we have a picture of the bottles right after. Rani also loves to help with Shira at home. In fact, we have a very interesting video I'm sure you'd love to see. Oh, well. Um, What's this book? Fairy. Fairy? Freddy and the Fairy? Fairy. Freddy and the Fairy. Who likes to read Freddy and the Fairy with you? Rony. Yeah? I love you. I love you. Rony. But. Bob Rony. That is right, said Fairy. Let's think perhaps a parrot. I'll do my best at Bessie Bell and conjure up a carrot! Ronnie is also very particular to brush her teeth. When? Oh, in the morning. And never needs any reminding. In fact, what really sets Ronnie apart is the fact that she is the current Connect Four champion. Yes! After roughly 278 tournaments, an average of two tournaments a day, each tournament five sets, each set taking roughly between four and seven minutes, the results are that Ronnie has won 276 tournaments and I have won a grand total of two. So before we go, here are the main points of the news again. Ronnie is celebrating her bat mitzvah today. We all wish her mazel tov and good luck in the future. Remember to do Netilat Yadayim, brush your teeth, and switch off the light. And now, the weather. In Ramah Bet Shemesh, the weather has become warm and thoughtful since Ronnie's arrival. The outlook for the future is much the same with a sprinkle of love and laughter. Towards 10 in the evening, when Ronnie goes to sleep, things will quieten down. But the sun will shine again in the morning. Mazel Mazel tov, tov, we, we love, love you. you. Shabbat Shalom.